Welcome back. This is Atari Living Sacrifice. The Golden Bird, Francis Kendrick, announces retirement date. Construction of Cinema Museum postponed again. Legendary singer Gennaro Crespo comes to Freeburg. Let's go to work. Going to work. Takes three times every morning. Every morning it's three times! Oh my god! When a police officer is too tired to be effective, he will ask for a day off. Sometimes officers will request days off even when they're at full strength. Some of the reasons you'll hear are far-fetched, while some are very serious. Don't overindulge your subordinates, but don't antagonize them either. Remember that everybody's got secrets, and you've got to make sure these guys have your back. In addition to their performance ratings, police officers also possess rank. Employees begin at the lowest rank and can be elevated in rank with one, two, or three stripes. Once a week, you can pass out stripes and improve the rank of any employee. If you think that no one is worthy of the honor some week, you can postpone the ceremony until later. Insignias won't go out until your people are ready. Proceed. Employees of rank not only increase in professionalism, but also to learn, also learn to command. When a ranking officer is on the scene, his or her colleagues are more likely to perform better than usual. Sometimes when cops get rank, they start thinking more seriously about their service. This can mean less drinking and more time spent on the job. Some of them might even turn out to be dependable. Man, drinking is just the thing to do, apparently. So I have two stripes. But where's Miss Price? Okay, let's start the day, because I don't know none of them. Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you'll learn, where you listen to what they say or nothing at Freeburg isn't one of those cities where you listen to what they say or nothing at all. You can always select any song from your collection and play it at any time, just like in real life, or the life of your grandfather. Choose a song to play. Sweet Ginger Green. Let's see what this sounds. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Let's learn how to hire and fire cops while we do the jitterbug. A little jazzy. Labor market. You have a certain number of paid job openings for which you can hire any available applicant. The job slots are separated between officers and detectives. Proceed. Detective slots. Hire for shift A, hire for shift B. I don't know. How do I look at my current? Can I go back and look at my other? Ah, I have to hire somebody here. Is it just easier to hire? Hire professionalism? Now she can shimmy me like Sister Kate. She's a dancing Just queen. Me. For a well, I want to go sweet, back. I don't want to do this. Green. I don't want to fire somebody. Oh, should be. I guess we can fire this guy. Because he's tired, I guess. If you have legal grounds for the termination, no one will ask any questions. You might need to fire them anyway. Legality be damned, but that could land you in additional proceedings. And your other staff will become more worried about keeping their jobs than they are about actually doing their jobs. Another way to free up a slot is to have a police officer killed. But that's not really a valid option, right? Too old. Failed to show up three times in a row. Hmm. 
and shimmy like Sister K. She's just a dancing Boy. queen. Pick for a king, a swing sweet ginger, so swing I, sweet did ginger I do it? green. Is it done? See here. Let's get rid of Roy. Political views unknown. I think I just want to hire a shift A. The most professional ones, right? She's a little old, though. I want the young and energetic, right? R for shift A. Get a higher for shift B. All right. Did I do the right thing? All right, vandalism. We received a frightened call from the local cathedral this morning about the abbot discovered that someone entered the old center cemetery during the night. The old yard's tombstones are painted with satanic symbols, and some have been broken into pieces. It seems there are even marks from a shovel, but the abbot would say no more. Hmm... Didn't I fire this one? Let's see here, let's go see something else. That first song was pretty cool. I like this kind of music. You guys can hear me though, it seems kind of loud. Businessman Harley Jones, looking out his window, saw two teenagers scratching offensive slogans on his new car. Officers unharmed. All right. Economy. The waitress named Mila reports that she just served a chicken eddy and a diet coke to a dangerous criminal who she'd seen on television just this morning. The culprit is sitting at the window eating a burger. She probably is mistaken. find out. A fender escaped? What? Three people on that case. I guess you can't win them all. Huh. I'm gonna have Roy and Stovall do everything from now on. The waitress was mistaken retired Frank Nero for the fugitive in question. I figured that was the case. What's this? Mr. Boyd, my bouncer stuffed himself with Mexican food again. <laughs> and now he can't get off the can. In the meantime, the line outside the club is stretching around the block. We need someone outside who can tell the cool guys from the punks. Can I tell anything else about these folks? Hmm. 
Not much is going on. Is that the only building I can click on right now? Drug sales. Christopher Sands Ice Arena. An anonymous call just came in. A clown carrying balloons at the skating rink is selling crack to teenagers. Teenagers, eh? Uh oh. What would the other one? That's the one I want first. Nice. Four eleven in progress. Street. Fleet Street. A naked man carrying a canister of gasoline has threatened to set himself on fire unless his favorite chewing gum becomes popular again. Well, alrighty then. What is this? How many slots do I have? Why does it think I have... I've only fired one of each. Need somebody on shift B. Sorry, Chief, but I quit. In one night, I pulled in more cash than I earned in a month working at this dump. Mr. Sorkin said he wouldn't mind taking me on. I guess I just wasn't cut out to be a cop. Well, that sucks. Thanks for your help, Mr. Boyd. Interesting. Drug sales. The police arrived. The clown is seen making balloon animals for kids. Carefully watch the clown from the stands. Cover up in a raincoat and pretend to be an illicit customer. Take the clown onto the ice and round up any witnesses. Nice. 420 cop. This cop is cool. 420. He's 420 cool. Huh. End of the day. Let's see here. Who did a good job? That was chapter three. So uh, we are, I'm learning the game. We're figuring out, hey, you know, people quit and, you know, you got to promote people, have had them on the back, make them feel good and get the job done. Kind of like real life. So I hope you're enjoying it. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we will see you on the next one. Keep moving forward, y'all.